In this video, we're going to discuss the multiplication properties of exponents. Before we can really get into what those properties are, I want to make sure that you understand the, the basic vocabulary that's going to be used. Uh, the word power gets used often in talking about multiplication properties of exponents. Uh, so what exactly is a power? Well, a power is not just is not what the exponent uh, that you see. It's actually the whole expression, uh, an expression in the form a raised to the b, or it's the value of the expression. So a power could really mean two different things. For example, 2 to the third is a power. That whole expression, 2 to the third, is a power. And what 2 to the third equals is 8. So 8 is also a power. In fact, it's the third power of 2. All right, so power is that whole expression. So when we talk about the product of powers, we're going to be talking about the product of something raised to an exponent times uh, uh, something else raised to an exponent. So the product of powers. All right, so that's a power. What about the base? Now we need to know what the base is. The base of a power is the number that gets multiplied repeatedly. So in our example, 2 to the third, the base is 2. And that is the thing that gets multiplied repeatedly. 2 times 2 times 2 uh, is what 2 to the third is. And of course, that equals 8. So the base is that value that gets multiplied repeatedly. And the exponent uh, tells us how many times to multiply that base repeatedly. So the exponent of a power is the number that tells you the number times the base is a factor. So, for example, 2 to the third, 3 is the exponent, and that means that 2 is multiplied 3 times. So 2 to the third equals 2 times 2 times 2. So in that expression, with the whole expression 2 to the third is a power, 2 is the base of the power, 3 is the exponent of the power. Right, let's look at a couple of examples uh, of working with exponents and working with bases and power. And power. So the product of powers. We have a power, a squared, and a power, a to the fourth. We're multiplying those, and they have the same base. So let's look at what we get when we multiply two powers with the same base. All right, so a to the second times a to the fourth equals a to the sixth. Let's look at another one. a to the third times a to the eighth. We get a to the eleventh. Right, let's try a different base. a to the fifth times b to the ninth to the 14. So there's a pattern that hopefully you're recognizing uh, when multiplying two powers with the same base. Before I hit enter, think about what the result of c to the 6th times c to the 4th should be. And hopefully you thought c to the 10th. The pattern that we see when we multiply two powers with the same base is that the result is the base raised to the sum of the exponents. So a to the second times a to the fourth equals a to the 2 plus 4, or 6. a to the third times a to the eighth equals a to the 3 plus 8 power, or a to the 11th and so on. So our final example, c to the 6th times c to the 4th equals c to the 6th plus 4, or c to the 10th. So when multiplying two powers with the same base, we add the exponents. In general, a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. Alright, so that is the product of powers property. The next thing we're going to look at is the power to a power property. So we're raising a to the third in this example to the fourth power. Alright, so the exponent 3 uh, base a and that whole expression a to the third becomes the base now raised to the fourth. Uh, so we're taking the power of 3 and raising it to the fourth power. Let's see what we get. 
So we get a to the 12th. Let's try another one. D to the 5th, raised to the 6th. We get B to the 30th. C to the second, raised to the seventh. C to the fourteenth. Hopefully, you're seeing somewhat of a pattern here. And in this next example, try to figure out what the answer is before I hit enter. B to the fourth, all raised to the second power. Hopefully, you realize that that would be D to the eighth. Now, why is that? Well. D to the fourth means D times D times D times D. And we're going to raise that to the second power. Well, raising to the second power means that we take our base and multiply by itself twice. So that would be times D times D times D times D. So D to the fourth squared is D to the fourth times d to the fourth, and we can see that that ends up with eight d's multiplied by each other, and that's d to the eighth. Similarly, if we did c squared to the seventh, or b to the fifth to the sixth, or a to the third to the fourth, uh, we would see the same results. And let's do c squared to the, to the seventh. Uh, actually, no, let's get something that will be less typing. How about b to the fifth? to the sixth. It's close to the same. Instead of typing it out b to the fifth each time, uh, b times b times b times b times b, I'll just write b to the fifth, and then that's times b to the fifth, times b to the fifth, c to the fifth. So one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. So we have b to the fifth multiplied by itself six times. So that would be the same as raising b to the fifth to the sixth power. And again, that's b to the thirtieth. So for power to a power, when raising a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. And the general example here, a to the m raised to the nth power would be the same as a to the m times n. Right. Looking back, d to the fourth raised to the second is d to the eighth. c to the second raised to the seventh, that's c to the two times seven. Ooh, sorry. b to the fifth raised to the sixth is the same as b to the five times six. a to the third raised to the fourth is the same as a to the three times four. All right, so that is power to a power. Our final property we're going to look at is the product of powers. So we have a to the, I'm sorry, a times b raised to the third. So it's not the product of powers, it's the power of a product. I said that backwards. We are raising a product. Product is the result of multiplication. So we're raising a times b to the third power. Let's see what we get. We get a to the third times b to the third. Let's do another one. Let's do c. D, and let's do times E. And raise that to fourth. It's C to the fourth times D to the fourth times E to the fourth. And let's see if you can guess this one before I hit enter. G times H is our product raised to the fifth power. And that's g to the fifth times h to the fifth. Let's take one of these. Let's go with the first one. a times b. That was raised to the third power. Well, what that means is we're taking a times b and multiplying it by itself three times. a times b times a times b times a times b. And when you look at what we have there, we have a times a times a if we reorganize that and then b times b times b. Um, 
we were to, again, reorganize that grouping, our A's, multiplying them, and then the B's. That's A to the third, B to the third. So when we're taking the power of a product, or raising a product to a power, we need to find the power of each factor and then multiply. For example, A times B raised to the M is the same as A to the M times B to the M. All right, so in general, that is some of the multiplication properties of exponents, and I hope you find that helpful uh, as you are studying uh, Algebra 1, probably, or just reviewing a little bit. Thank you.